dear friend, family, and esteemed colleagues. Uh, I was asked by a friend, what do I think about the Hunza people diet and their longevity? So, you know, whenever, I, I'm not familiar with that. So I just wanted to check it out first. Who are these Hunza people? And uh, if longevity is questioned, then this is to me more important thing than going and checking what they eat. So I went, and yes, many articles about Hunza people and their special longevity and happy, healthy people live long lives. Well, it ends up to be that longevity is nothing extraordinary. It's the regular longevity of that I have seen in villages in Croatia, in Greece, in Turkey, um, up here in Andes, in Peru. Okay, so living between 90 and 120, this is average lifespan now of us toxic carboholic people, glucoholic people. Well, it's far cry from the 600 and plus years we should be living. And it's even far cry of Taoists of China that live, you know, 200 years. Um, their master, uh, Li, died when he was 256 years old. Documented stuff. But he's not even mentioned in the books of records. Taoists are being ignored and whatever we read about them, it's marginal. Because again, Taoists, it's a way of life, it's a religion also. And uh, those who follow the original stuff, they benefit from it. But even if you want to follow it and you are in some dirty city, you will not be able to achieve what they can achieve. This is fresh mountain air, no pollution. Same is with these people of uh, Hansa or Hunza. Um, if we are talking about some miracle, well, there is none. Now, yes, we can see that they do not get sick. Well, of course, they don't have doctors. Nobody benefits on sickness, so they live healthy. And also they live healthy because, let's face it, they are poor people. They do not feast. They eat small amount of food. And uh, do they eat correct food? Of course not. Yes, they are not vegans. Okay, they do eat dairy, eggs, and when available, meat, fish, chicken, lamb, whatever is available. It's an area of Pakistan, up in the mountains, in the valley, but high in the mountains, separate from so-called civilization. So it's much healthier life. They work a lot just to get to their fields. They have to walk long distances. I've seen it even here in Amazonia. 75-year-old man with a heavy basket going uphill, I could barely follow without any basket on my back. But they do it daily. 
Well, this is their routine. But age shows on their skin, on their face, on their posture. Why? Because they're not healthy. Only it does not interfere that much, they are not in so much pain. And then when pain comes, they suppress it with medicinal plants. Until, you know, little by little they dehydrate. And just look at it. Anyone who travels and goes to villages, especially in the mountains, but doesn't have to be. I've seen this on a seashore in Croatia. Some of the elderly people there that live traditional lives, you know, 85 year old reads without glasses. Not a big deal. But they all start getting dehydrated. They forget to drink water. Now, of course, whenever you read on internet about longevity and then particular group of people is being selected to brainwash you, then, of course, they are going to use the same spiel. It's always the same thing. They drink clean, mineralized water strictly from a mountain. Well, it cannot be highly mineralized, it cannot have too many minerals because it's high in a mountain, does not have time. The longer it goes and bounces off the rocks and, and more um, humic acid that goes down as it flows into lower rivers, it's way more minerals there than it's up in a high mountain. It's oxygenized water. Yeah, this is true because it's cascades, it's turbulence. So more oxygen is in that water. But because there is no mineral value and they don't really eat a lot of salt, salt is commodity. For those people, it is a commodity. So, and they have to cleanse because they eat carbohydrates. So, and also plants, so, so this way that stuff has to be cleansed. And the general cleansing process always goes on. So they s slowly dehydrate. And older they get, you can see it on their faces. They get creased, They're like prune. And those who live over 100 years, they look like a, like a skeleton with skin over it. And they die from dehydration. They could probably live longer because they were not poisoning themselves that much. Whatever they ate, they turned into energy. There was no storing of any uh, fat because they just did not eat that much. So less, less you eat, the less toxicity you bring the less plasma you need to cleanse it, the healthier you are going to stay. But you still, when you look at them, you see that they are highly dehydrated, very creased. Yes, they are smiling, they are happy. This helps their electric voltage to be up. So even in dehydrated toxic body, they still maintain the correct vibration. So, among the activity that they have, the lifestyle that they have, being active, then I know it's always in these villages, every Saturday usually, it is a dance. Villagers get together, they all have their musicians, and they, play, they dance. When I was growing up in Croatia for a vacation, um, for, for the summer break, I would go sometimes to a village that relatives had some family in there. 
and I would stay there, and I, I witnessed this. I forget, I, I don't know if it was Friday night or Saturday night, and it was organized by bomberos, by fire department. Okay, because they have space, and, uh, you know, they always contributed to this. So they would make this party, they would be singing, playing, dancing. This is when boy meets the girl. That's the social life. It all, only can happen when they are not working anymore. So this is why I think it was Saturday. It was many years ago. And uh, Sunday is day of rest. So this lifestyle allows you to live easily 100 years. But as soon as you go into these 80s, 90s, there start joint problems because of uric acid. You are dehydrated. I mean, they are dehydrated. As the skin shows, cannot hide it. And joints start suffering becomes harder and harder to walk on distances. And I've seen it here also in Andes. Stubby, short but stubby people, resistant, resilient, but when it comes to 80s, 90s, they have hard time walking. Arthritis kicks in. And anyone who approaches 100 or lives over 100, they are all skinny and they are all skin and bone, completely dehydrated. And they have reached this age because they ate less than the others. And now, basically, they will fare out because of lack of plasma, because of dryness, lack of hydration, not a disease. And this is what kills the eyes, this is what brings cataracts later on, dry eye problems and all kinds of stuff. But the Hunza people, this is just excuse for those who promote the stupid vegetarian and vegan diet, they're just looking. Okay, where can we find someone who lives more than 60? Because we are dropping in lifespan. Why? Because of medical field, pharmaceutical field, because of the lives we live in. Okay? Not because uh, it's in our genetics. So we gotta learn the truth. We gotta think, observe, and uh, don't be taken with some rhetoric. Somebody says, "Oh, they're incredible. They live long, 110 years. 110 years is not long. It's not even 10 times our adolescence." So. We should live 25, 35 times adolescence, like all the other wild animals. Once when we live like this, we can be proud of longevity. Right now, we all live short, miserable lives. Being it 60, or 70, or 100, or 120, it's all very short life. But people who are 100 and 110, most of them would like to go because they, are, they can hardly move. They feel useless, they cannot do anything, they feel they are in the way of everybody because they basically are toxic and dehydrated. So, talking about these 
Hunza people, well, we can see the same thing in Okinawa. We can see the same thing in Croatia, Turkey, you know, uh, Andes, North American Indians, South American Indians. They all live that kind of age. It's a stand that's a standard age of less polluted and people who don't who do not indulge on food. You will never see um, tribal people having a big plate of food. With a small plate, little food there, pop, maybe if it's some some wedding or whatever. But otherwise in a house, this is all small little plates of food, pop, 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 done, finished. Okay, so this is my opinion on this longevity that is always being mentioned and every time you go on any site with veganism, vegetarianism, you will have this thing promoted and always some tribe mentioned. Incredible! It's nothing incredible, it's average. It's standard like every, everywhere else. Okay, thank you for listening. Love you all.